Hello, I'd like to welcome you and your learners to GT AP English 4 here at Coppell High School for the 2014-2015 school year. My name is Matt Bowden. This is my 17th year teaching at CHS and my fifth year teaching GT English. I am also the campus GT coordinator, so if you have any GT questions or concerns, feel free to contact me with those and I'll answer them as best I can or get you in touch with the person who can. I'd like to start off by telling you a little bit about my class, what I expect from my learners, and what I ultimately hope they get from my course. My number one goal, my number one hope and priority for your kids is that they walk out of my class in May deeper, more analytical thinkers than they came to me in August. I want them to see hidden meanings in literature and art. I want them to see the social commentary and the message behind a film. I want them to question things and, and see what isn't readily apparent on the surface. This is a skill that we will use with every work we study this semester. This is something that I will model for them, something I will lead them to, and something that hopefully they will learn to do on their own and will continue to do throughout their lives. All of the works of literature that we will study throughout the year will fall under one gigantic thematic umbrella. And underneath this umbrella, there will be two distinct themes that we will use to frame each work and guide our discussions and our analytical writing. The first theme deals with the fact that there is duality in all things, especially in human beings. We are capable of great benevolence and kindness, but we are also capable of terrible destruction and cruelty. So that'll be the first sort of theme that we will use to frame each work. The second theme that we will use to sort of guide us through each of the works has to do with free will. The fact that we as human beings have free will and make our own choices. No one makes us do anything. And yet, despite the fact that we know there are repercussions for certain choices and certain actions, we continuously make the wrong ones and pay for it. Why is that? So that'll be the second theme that we will use to sort of frame each of the works. The first work the learners studied was their summer reading, George Orwell's 1984. It's dystopian literature. It's sort of George Orwell's literary warning to the world that if we're not careful and powers are allowed to operate unchecked, this is a world that we could actually see in the not too distant future. We have already done a variety of little analytical activities with it, had some discussions in class, and actually read a connected piece, a short story by Kurt Vonnegut called Harrison Bergeron. We did a lot of compare and contrast uh, between the two stories as we got to discussing you know, the ins and outs of, of both. As a companion piece to 1984, I also had the learners read Finding George Orwell in Burma by Emma Larkin. It's a nonfiction piece, but what it does is it gives historical and uh, sort of real context to 1984. Uh, it, it draws parallels between what Orwell lays out in 1984 and the things that have occurred over the years in Burma, which is, of course, now known as Myanmar. And I think one of my strengths as an educator is, is finding connections between works making things relevant, making the learners realize that while this is fiction, it's all too real in certain parts of the world. And hopefully that book achieved the purpose. The first thing we study after the summer reading activities are done is not actually literature, it's a film. The classic 1967 Paul Newman film, Cool Hand Luke. And we're going to watch it and analyze it as a parallel to the Christ story. One of the common archetypes in literature and film is that character who parallels Christ's journey, Christ as, as a savior or messiah figure. And so we're watching the film and analyzing all the little things that are sort of hidden there. As I said, I want kids to learn to find those hidden messages, the deeper meanings. And so we'll be studying this film for a parallel to the Christ story, something that hopefully they can apply to other works throughout the year. After Cool Hand Luke, the first book we'll read as a class is Ken Kesey's One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Then Albert Camus' The Stranger. 
Arthur Miller's Death of a Salesman, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson, The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, The Tragedy of Macbeth by William Shakespeare, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, my personal favorite. And then we finish with William Shakespeare's Hamlet, which is the last work we read before the AP exam. This year's literature and composition exam falls on Wednesday, May 6th, starts at 8 o'clock. As always, I'll encourage the students to get there at 7.30, and I'll be waiting at the door with donuts and encouragement. All year, we'll be doing exercises, practicing multiple choice uh, question answering strategies. We'll be doing a variety of writing that applies to question one, two, and three. They will be more than ready when they walk in that room. Please feel free to contact me with any questions, comments, or concerns you may have throughout the year. My phone number is 214-496-6367, and you can reach me by email at mbowden at coppellisd.com. I also encourage you to keep track of due dates and upcoming assignments on my Blackboard site and check your learner's grades and progress regularly on the portal. Thank you and I uh, look forward to meeting you down the road.